Number 15 then from the 2015 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go, lines and planes, 10 marks. Now what's it? It gives you the information about two lines in space, a point it passes through and the direction it heads in. And it wants the vector equations. Oh, now quite often the vector equations are given in terms of base vectors, the unit base vectors. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to set it out this way. Suffer the consequences. So for the first one, to find any point at all on this line, so that would be the standard position vector of a point x, y, z, you start at a known point on the line, that would be p, and you take steps in the direction it's going. So you just need to choose a parameter, usually use s and t, but s ends up looking like a 5, so maybe I'll just call it a and b. a lots of u1. Similarly for line 2, how could you arrive at any point in line 2? We'd start at any known point in line 2 and add on steps in the direction it heads in. So multiples of its, well not necessarily multiples, some parameter times its unit vector. Now I don't want to write them out like this, I'd rather write them out as column vectors. 2, 4, 1 plus a lots of 1, 2, negative 1, because that readily splits into the parametric equations. And for L2, I'm going to say it's r equals negative 5, 2, 5, plus b lots of, well that looks like a 6 now, doesn't it? Negative 4, 4, 1. Show that lines L1 and L2 intersect and find their point of intersection. Well, here is where I'd rather have just the ordinary equations. And you get that just by splitting up the components. So that means for line 1, I'm going to have the x component is going to be 2 plus a lots of 1, so that's a. The y coordinate will be 4 plus 2 lots of a. And the z component will be 1 minus 1 lot of a. For line 2, its x coordinate will be negative 5 minus 4 lots of b. Its y component will be 2 plus 4 lots of b. And the z component will be 5 plus just 1 lot of b. Now, at a point of intersection, obviously, these things have to give the same answer. Is there a unique pair of numbers for of A and B that give the same results for both lines, that identify that same single point? Well, you just form some equations and see it. So, the x's, if the x's are meant to be equal, then I've got this. I've got 2 plus A should equal negative 5 minus 4B. So, A plus 4B should equal negative 7, unfortunately. For the y's, if the y coordinates are equal, then 4 plus 2a should equal 2 plus 4b. Rearrange that. That means that 2a, oh, I was going to write plus there, minus 4b should equal negative 2. You'd be tempted to knock that down to just a minus 2b equals negative 1, but that's handy just for the simultaneous equations. Now you could do the same for z. In order to test it, you can test it just by finding its coordinates, because that's what you want anyway. Right, so if I call that 1 and I call that 2, if I just do 1 plus 2, then I'll have a and 2a makes 3a, 4b minus 4b disappears, a negative 7 and a negative 2 makes a negative 9, that gives me a parameter of negative 3. So what that says is, this point of intersection should be 3 steps of this vector back along this line from this point. I'll go about this one now. Once we know what A is, how can we find what B is? Well, substitute it back into whichever one. I'll just go back to this one, I think. That says negative 3 plus 4B equals negative 7. So 4B will equal adding 3, negative 4. So B equals negative 1. Well, both parameters turn out to be negative. Which means that that's one step of that vector back from this point along that line. Or is it? Because they could have the same x and y coordinates just by looking down on them. 
but different Z coordinates. So I've got to check there's a consistency with Z. So for these two numbers, do you get the same Z? So let's test that. A equals negative 3 means that Z would be 1 plus 3, which is 4. Now what about the other line? On the other line, if B is negative 1, will you be at the same height? Because two lines will always intersect if you look straight down on a plane, but there could be a gap between them. So do they actually have the same Z component? So if B is negative 1, I'd get Z on its line would be 5 minus 1, which is 4. There you go. That was consistent. And it's also told me Z at the same time. So, you could say that system is consistent. Which means L1 intersects L2, just to be brief, very fancy. At, now where is it? X equals, so just choose one of them, you should be confident that will work on them both. So if I just go for this one here. At X equals 2 minus 3, which equals negative 1. Y equals 4 plus, oh, two lots of it, so that's 4 minus 6, which is negative 2, and I've already worked out that Z is 4. So at the point, negative 1, negative 2, 4. And part C, determine the equation of the plane containing lines L1 and L2. So I don't need any of that information I've just got. You could say you need the point N because that's where the lines intersect, but those points lie in the line, so they also lie in the plane. So you can still stick with any of those that you want to use. So that means the normal to the plane must be perpendicular. So it must be the cross product of the two vectors. So it's going to equal 1, 2, negative 1, cross, negative 4, 4, 1. Now I'm just going to jump in with the result here rather than making up that table. Because all you do in the table is the exact same thing as you would do here. You would just cover your x's and use your y's and z's identical to this. You would say 2 times 1, take away negative 1 times 4. That's 2 plus 4 is 6. And then you would cover up the z's. Only you know that's negative there, so you just do it in reverse to compensate. So this diagonal first. 4 take away 1 is 3. And then for the z's, you would just say, well, cover that up. And that's main diagonal again, because it's positive. 4 take away negative 8 is 4 plus 8 is 12. So there's a normal vector. Or any vector parallel to that, any multiple of that would do. So you could simplify that and say, say instead of that, I'll use 2, 1, 4. Because that's a vector that's normal to the plane. And then for the equation of the plane, I would simply say that the normal times any point in the plane will be the normal times, I mean dot, scalar product of that, with any particular point, whether you're using this or this or this. They should all give the same answer. You could spell it out if you like. 2, 1, 4 x, y, z would be 2, 1, 4 of whatever takes your fancy. Then I'll use this one. 2, 4, 1. So here we go. 2x plus y plus 4z in that scalar product. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. There we go. Equation of the plane don't know what would happen if you didn't put down that determinant, the ijk determinant, to work out a cross product, because that's still the correct answer.